What is good, YouTube? Your boy for Fletch back here again with another video. Today's video, I'll be doing a carbon fiber steering wheel install on my 2019 Honda Accord. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, here's the wheel. So, I wrapped this to match this. But there's the difference. But this is real carbon fiber, and that's fake. It's a wrap, so I mean you guys get the picture, but I still think it's gonna be fire. Yeah, but let's get into this install. So first I'm gonna just make sure my wheel is straight before I disconnect the battery. Alright, she's straight. Uh, let me get my flashlight so I'm working in the dark. I don't think you guys, have you guys ever seen my engine bay? This is my engine bay, but I'm gonna want her to disconnect the battery. Just like that. Let's disconnect that. Put it off to the side. This is also carbon fiber. All right, guys, so first, you're gonna want to do there's two holes on the side of on the steering wheel. Let me show you. There's a hole right there, and there's another one on the other side. So what you're gonna do? Put the tripod. What you're gonna do is gonna stick a Phillips in there. Start this side. Stick a Phillips in here, and. Just be like a little clip like that to pop it out. Do one side, then do the other side. Just like that. And airbag should come out as followed. Just like that. Um, I've done this, <clears throat> like this is my third time doing this now. I did it on my friend's car. Um, Island girl, Jody. So, let me show you. Now you just disconnect the um, airbag. It's going to be two plugs, and then you disconnect uh, the clock spring as well. I got to do it with this hand. I think this is the first video I don't have to put background music over. I'm going to be actually talking to you guys the whole time. Uh, and then this next clip. This is the fun clip to release the airbag. So it's gonna go like this. You gotta pull up on them. Pull up on it like that. And then this place is the airbag. So you just what you're disconnecting is this plug right here. And then there's gonna be uh this let me show you the connector for the middle one. You gotta basically just pull up on these and it'll come out. Um uh, next unplug this. Okay, so something is wrong with my Fingers today, I can't unplug stuff. Unplug, just like that. All right, um, next. You want to unscrew these right here. So we can pop out the um, steering wheel controls. Damn, I'm only been recording for three minutes and I'm almost there. <laughs> This is a fairly quick install video, guys. Um, that's one screw. Record. Oh, don't drop that. All right. Put the camera back up over here. All right, guys. Next. This should just pop right out. Like that. Just like that. Pops right out. And... Next, um, take this top piece off. Just kind of like 
that. I didn't break that. No, I didn't break it. I don't like that. It's kind of like you pull up and out. That's why I'm stuck. You pull outwards because they're hooked in going forward. So now you can just pop out the steering wheel controls. Once we take this, this is a Allen 10 mil. Boom. Birthday. Put her on the lowest setting. Okay, this nigga. Jesus Christ, that was in there. They put like Loctite on these things, bro. All right, now that that's off, we just boom, just like that. through like that out with the old and with the new baby all right now that's got to transfer over all of this stuff to the uh, new one so i don't need this flash that i got the light right here so literally you just Actually, I do kind of need that light. It was kind of helpful. So, these just, these pop in. There's these little holes right there. One and two. So, you're going to have to wiggle it pretty good. Because there's, like, that's how they're, oh, I'll tell you that. That's how they're locked in. And then just unplug the connector and put it to the side and then do the same on the other side. Just wiggle it out. And then this just pops off now. Just like that. This pops right off. Pop off like so. Boom, old skeleton. Put that in the back. And then we take the new skeleton and we just put it on the wheel. Bro, stop playing with me, man. Boom, like that. Like that, boom. Stop playing with my emotions, man. Now we ain't all the way. Okay, so let me put these controls back on. You guys see? Put these controls back on. Oh, don't move the clock spin. So plug you in. Oh, dang. Hold on. This does have the carbon piece has to go in last because. The carbon piece goes in last because it's oh no it slides down like that and then that goes into there so yep so put that in like so and then we could just put this back on here uh, so I'll send that through this hole keep the clock spring and there she's on and oh crud almost forgot i did this on on her with my friend's car too don't forget to swap these over because the airbag will not will not clip back in without these so let's not do that again So, just oh my god, come on. Just slide it over. 
like that. It'll clip into place. And do, so do not forget to swap those over because you need that to um you need that to lock the airbag in. That tab is what you're pressing to release the airbag when you stick it in through the side. So all right, there. Damn, that looks gorgeous. All right, this center bolt. Um, plug the clocks in. This center bolt gets torqued to 36 foot pounds of torque. Yes, you got to torque it back. I removed it with the gun, but that does not mean you tighten it with the gun. Literally, what I just do, I just get it started in with the gun. I get it started with the gun and then finish it with the torque wrench. Um, so put the extension. And then we gotta finish it with the torque wrench. Where's my torque wrench? Should be set already. Yeah, it's set already. So, just. Six foot pounds of torque. Uh, whew, that was hard. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost done. Now, just put this piece in so it slides in like so. That slides in like so. It's going to clip in. Clips in. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, uh, sugar, honey. I, oh, I picked the screws up. Put these screws back in. Uh oh, that's not good. I dropped the screw. Put the screws back in. Slide this in, just how I told you guys. You take it out. They slide in. Slides in just like that. Just like that. And now for the airbag, and we're done. So plug that back in. One. Make sure it clips in, guys. Alright, guys, so let's put the battery back on. And then that's it, guys. That's all she wrote. <clears throat> Then you just start it back up and then you gotta take it for a drive to clear the lights. It's gonna show you that. It's gonna show you, no, it's gonna show you that right there. My airbag light is for this passenger indicator. So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. new to this channel man make sure you hit that subscribe button man comment like turn on the post notification bell for more
You know when I post in the future, man. And stay tuned for the next one, man. We're going crazy all 2023. I ain't letting up. So, yeah, man. Stay tuned. Your boy, Fourth Fletch, man. Out of here. Peace.